This is the book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 14. And it says it reads the second woe is past and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. All right. Bracket the Yahweh, bracket the Yahweh Shai. All right. Bracket the Yahweh, bracket the Yahweh Shai. You know, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakodash. All right. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruwell. And I want to give a uh, peace and greetings and salutations to Arthur like Akim, you know, that's pushing his word and uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, and our brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in this truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom, you know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami camp and our Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Recha, Kodash. You know, uh, I don't want Ratazah, you know, I mean, Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know, in my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakadash, it's going to be basing on this article, you know, that came out from RT News. All right, it says, um, is a uh, breaking news, like Apostle Tahar, he just did a video on it. Well, he did it earlier today, you know, and I'm just, uh, seeing it and going into it. All right, there was a, um, there was a, a few U.S. soldiers killed in Jordan drone uh, drone attack, man. So I'm gonna just read it, you know, and this all leading to what World War Three, man. All right, as we just read, all right, Revelation chapter eleven, verse fourteen. It says the second war is past. The second war representing what World War Two. All right, because World War Two was a major event, and there was a lot of death. All right, a lot of death and destruction. All right, you had the scriptures prophesied of three world wars. All right. All right, it says in uh, it says the second one was passed, and behold, the third woe coming quickly. So World War Three is coming quickly. And just and this is just a a, a event that's going to escalate this war even higher, man. All right, but we know all right before this war, all right, well before our Lord Yahusha returns, all right, before those nuclear missiles hit, a hey, the RFID chip, which is a mark of the beast, is have to be made mandatory. You know, so this is a war and rumors of war. So we seeing a the prophecy speaking. So this is a U.S. serviceman killed in Jordan attack aftermath. So this is the, what I was reading in the red. So this is the article. It came out uh today. It says uh, U.S. troops killed in Jordan air. Uh, I mean drone attacks. Like it says, it is the first time that American military personnel have died by enemy fire since the start of the Israel Hamas war. All right, so this hey, now America's getting involved with it. That's why the scriptures say what? Let's get this. All right, it's, it's getting big, and the prophecies are speaking. All right, this is the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter fifty, verse forty-five. It says, "Therefore, hear, hear ye the counsel of the Lord that He hath taken against Babylon, which Babylon is America." All right, according to the scriptures, in His purpose, I prepare purposes that he had proposed against the land of the Chaldeans, talking about America. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. So the least of the flock, which is talking about Israel, I had those Israelis over there. All right. The Amalekites, they're really Amalekites. All right. They're imposters. It's not a real Jews. All right. It says the least of the flock all right, is going to draw America out. All right, into this war. And you can see this was happening, man. All right, now they got their soldiers dying, man. It says three U.S. Army, Army uh, soldiers have been killed and many others wounded by an overnight drone drone attack in uh, Jordan. President Joe Biden has announced the strike on, uh, on a U.S. Army outpost represents a significant escalation of simmering tensions in the Middle East. And that's why the Lord said he's going to gather all nations. Let's get that. All right. This is why you uh, the Lord said, measure the time diligently. All right. And what you see it, man. This is the book of Joel, chapter three, verse two. It says, I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat in the Hebrew, meaning Yahweh Shapat. All right. The heavenly father, his name is Yahweh. Mean he is or he is this. Shapat means judgment. Though so this is what the Lord is going to judge the nations in the valley of Jehoshaphat over there in the Middle East. All right. It says, over there near the Euphrates. All right, near the Red Sea, all right, that area over there, it says, 
and uh so like and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage israel whom they have scattered amongst the nations and part of my land so the lord is about to gather all these nations there so he can judge them for what they did to the children of israel this is book of zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 8 it says therefore wait ye upon me saith the lord until the day that i rise up to the prey for my determination is to gather the nations that i may assemble the kingdoms and pour upon them my indignation even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy because the Lord is gathering these nations all right, to ultimately destroy them when our Lord Yahweh shall return to the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. All right. But America is getting pulled into this war and it's only going to get bigger. And what eventually all these nations that have nuclear capability, they're going to shoot missiles upon this place, according to prophecy. All right. It says a press release issued by U.S. Central Command, CENTCOM, on Sunday listed a number of American personnel injured in the attack at 25 says, quote, last night, three U.S. service members were killed and many wounded during an unmanned aerial drone uh, attack on our forces stationed in northeast Jordan near the Syrian border. Biden said, well, end quote, Biden said in a statement issued by the White House on Sunday, while we are still gathering the facts of this attack, we know it was carried out by a radical Iran bank back militia uh militant groups operating in syria and iraq so they blame this on I, uh iran all right and what what i think that dude uh benjamin netanyahu he said they're gonna go to war with iran all right and once you go to war with iran hey you gotta you're gonna have to go to war with russia all right because the, russia and iran are allies man in china all right so america's about to lose this war which is according to prophecy. It says prior to Friday, there have been at least 158 attacks on U.S. and uh, coalition, co coalition, coalition, if I'm saying it right, like it, forces in Iraq and Syria, according to CNN. However, the vast majority of the operations have not posed a serious threat or caused major damage to infrastructure. On this occasion, U.S. air defenses uh, appear to have failed to intercept the drone strike which was the first on the facility known as Tower 22. Since attacks on U.S. and, co and coalition targets in the region escalated on October 17th, U.S. forces are stationed in the region to provide training and assistance to J Jordanian troops. All right. I'll just continue. All right. So they out there to, to, to train and assist the, the troops over there. All right. It says the three American uh, service members we lost were patriots to the highest sense. So this is Joe Biden. He said in his official statement, and their ultimate sacrifice will never be forgotten by our nation. The president added, we will carry their commitment to fight terrorism, you know, going on or whatever, whatever. All right. All right. Let's see. Uh, all right. There's the military with the defense acts, the Lord says, the discuss what we can in the coming days. All right, so hey, this is just getting ready for war, man. So let's get the precepts. All right, this is book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 1. It says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born. So there's a time and season for everything. And what 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 time are we in? It says, verse 2, it says, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. So it's, it's a time of great death. And the Lord is about to pluck up Babylon, the great, this empire. All right. He's about to plant the nation of Israel. All right. Started with our Lord Yahweh Shai uh, in the uh, 144,000 in the elect, man. The elect, which, all right, which we pray we are part of that number. Verse 8, verse 8. A time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. So what? We're in the time of war. All right. Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So that's what the ancient prophets did. They spoke of war, evil, and of pestilence. All right. And this is what going to be one of the signs that's going to happen before our Lord returns. All right. Matthew 24 verse 3 it says, And as he said upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming in the end of the world? So the Lord said, uh, the disciples asked the Lord, what's going to be your sign? What's going to happen before you make your second return? All right, end of the world, end of the world, that, that word world is eon, meaning the 
age, meaning a certain time of rulership, meaning the end, the end of Esau, the so-called white man's world. All right, because it says Second Ezra six, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Verse six, Matthew twenty four six says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. So these are the signs. All right, that's going to happen before our Lord returns. And these wars about to escalate even more, man. All right. Habakkuk 2. And 2. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision, meaning these prophecies. All right. The Lord had holy men moved by the Holy Spirit, write these things down for us in these times, man. It says, uh, what? The MOTB, Jacob's trouble, also the, the coming of our Lord. It says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and the prophecies are speaking. All right, the book is, is open. The words of Yahweh Bashim Shai is going out. They're not returning unto him void. They accomplish what the Lord said. It says, but the end... But at the end, it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry. Wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Let's read it in the NLT. All right, verse three says, "For the rev for the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not prove false, though it linger. Wait for it; it will certainly come, and not and will not delay." So these prophecies are not de delaying, man. All right, the Lord said He's going to shorten the times. All right, for the elect's sake, man, it's going to get crazy out here, but the Lord is about to deliver a remnant of Israel. So we just got to keep believing and keep watching and keep praying. All right, because why? The Lord is showing us, hey, this war is about to get big. All right, and all hell is about to break loose, but he's going to save us. Lord, when we were part of elect. You know, so Lord, when this lesson was edifying, you know, just a quick lesson, you know, uh, laying back in, you know, off of Pastor Tahar, you know, I seen it, uh, watched the video. It was like a, a minute video. Is going into it, and I seen another brother. It was on a thumbnail, thumbnail. So I say, man, let me just go in. This is big. The brother's doing a video on it. Hey, hey, these are this is a war, rumors of wars. This this is going to get America involved in this, man. All right, and it's going to get bigger, and our salvation is nearer than we, nearer than when we believe. All right. So Lord, what in this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah Bahasham, Rechakodash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruel. And I want to give a uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the like I am that's pushing his word and truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Mike, I'm keep pushing, keep it going, Shalom.